Hello everyone, welcome to CDC. Today I'm sharing vegetable masaledar rice recipe made out of the leftover boiled rice. You can simply enjoy this delectable rice in breakfast, lunch or dinner. So let's get started. Heat up a pan or a karhai on medium high heat. Then add oil. I'm using sesame oil but you can use any other vegetable or canola oil as well. Then turn down the flame to medium once oil is hot. Then add raw peanuts and fry them for about a minute or until it starts to splutter and change its color. Make sure you fry it on medium flame only. If oil is too hot, then peanuts will quickly cook and change its color from outside and stays raw from inside. If the temperature of the oil is too low, then peanuts will absorb lot of oil. Once done, take it out on a paper lined plate. Turn up the flame to medium high again. Once oil is hot, add mustard seeds followed by chana dal, dhuli, urad dal, finely chopped ginger and fry them for about 30 seconds. Then add chopped green chilies, asafoetida and curry leaves into it. I just forgot to add asafoetida at this stage. That's why I will add it later in the video. Then add small to medium diced red onion into it and saute them for about 40 to 45 seconds. Then add ginger garlic paste into it and cook it until onion turns deep pinkish in color. It will take about a minute. Then add chopped tomatoes into it. Give it a stir. Time to put some spices. Add salt, turmeric powder, as I mentioned, I forgot to add hing earlier, so I am adding it now. Red chili powder, coriander powder, and mix everything well. Turn down the flame to medium and roast masala for few minutes. This one pot quick meal is not only great for lunch or dinner, but also ideal for lunch box and easily appreciated by kids and all other age group. Now taste masala. It should taste really salty. If not, then add more salt to make sure the rice have enough salt. As salt cannot be evenly mixed after adding boiled rice to the dish. Once oil is separated from the masala or once masala starts separating from the kadhai, like in this case, as I haven't added a lot of oil, add chopped green peppers into it and saute them for just about 30 to 40 seconds. Do not cook peppers for longer time otherwise it will lose its bright green color and will not stay crunchy as well. Time to add leftover boiled rice. Mix rice with masala gently. Cover it with a lid and cook it for 2 minutes in a steam. Then turn off the flame and add roasted peanuts into it. You can also use cashews instead of peanuts. Then add lemon juice and chopped cilantro. Mix it gently without breaking the rice. Serve this extremely tasty spicy masaledar infused rice with choice of your vegetables as it is or serve it with plain yogurt or veggie raita. Do try out this extremely simple quick flavorsome recipe and do share your thoughts in comment section. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you are new to this channel or haven't subscribed it yet, then please subscribe it. Thank you so much everyone for watching this video. We'll see you soon in next video. Till then, happy eating. Bye bye. Take care.